I'll tell everyone you're working. She's, she's working everyone over there, she's working. She's not twerking, that was earlier. She's working on her twerking. She's twerking. I feel like there's a t-shirt in there somewhere. Think I'm working, actually twerking. So this is gonna be a big, I'm gonna try to do this fast because it's 10.30 at night and I want to go watch my TV shows. Go watch my soaps as the old people would say, which is a bunch of anime I've been catching up on, but I wanna broadcast it on Discord because I don't use my Discord like as a community thing. And I really, I wanna watch TV shows and if I could bond with my community by forcing them to watch gay anime shit, that's a win. Because then I'll feel like I'm not watching things alone. Oh, this is gonna mock me? Motherfucker! Are you fuck? It's a doo-noo! Oh, God. So anyway, tonight's the night my IEM launches, my do new IEM launches. And they, I had to get someone in my community to do the box art, because the box was atrocious. Like it was like black with like blue letters and it was like weird font. So it was like, uh, and all I wanted was a waifu on my fucking box. And then they send me a fucking Dudunu Kimas who have a waifu on the box. It's a Dunu product. Who collabed? Who put, who? It's no one, no one's, co this is just Dunu. They have waifu artists at Dunu. I can't be upset because a Dunu 10 millimeter uh, DLC dynamic, I, I just today did the re-review of the Dunu Zen Pro, which is a $900 single 10 millimeter dynamic. And you know what? It's worth $900. So I think the Kima is much cheaper, but it gets a, Fucking waifu. God, fuck, if anyone should have a waifu on any product they have endorsed, it should be me. Look at, look at the box from Ami Ami. Getting to that. Um, oh, damn. She's even got the legs showing. Baby, you need to get this outfit, okay? You haven't done a maid yet. She did a sexy Tom Nook, though. Check her Twitter for sexy Tom Nook. Um, oh, they even got a cooler fucking case. What is this shit? I mean, my case is leather, but this one's like orange. Is there like a different team at Dunu? I want to take this protective plastic off, but I can't seem to find the edge. Oh, don't take off the letters. Anyway, there's a bright fucking tangerine orange. I'm putting my IMs in this. Fuck that. What do we got? Got an inspection notice. Got a presented by Dunu. I don't even think I got a cleaning rag in mine. Presented by Dunu. We've got the Dunu square box tips. Those are really weird IM tips. They're just boxes. They don't work in my ears. We've got standard silicone, some clearies. Oh wait, they feel sticky. Yeah, just standard silicones. Got more. Dark black silicones. Um, comes with a quarter inch adapter that I love so damn so damn much. Because it's it's just so small, but it's super slippery. Uh, cable. Fucking do new fucking making an IEM with a waifu and a cool orange goddamn thing. 3.5 millimeter fixed wire. I don't know why I smell this wire. I don't usually smell wires. It's got that sort of vinyl feel like a children's toy. Remember those punching bags? I don't know. I, this is the age maybe before you guys remember. But when I was a kid, you used to go to the store and you would get like a punching bag. And it was a sand in the bottom. And then it was just a big vinyl thing like this high. So when you'd fucking punch whoever... Remember Gr Grimace from McDonald's, but maybe it was someone from He-Man. You'd punch it, it would hit the ground and bounce back up and a big heavy sand base at the bottom. And it had this smell of like a beach ball, but worse. And that's what this feels like. Feels like it should have that smell. I really like this wire. It's like clear. It's like perfectly, it's not white. This isn't a white wire. This is a clear wire. 
It's a little bit springy. Like you can see the sprung in it. Not the worst though, not the worst. And here are the actual Kimas. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to drop that. It went right through my fingertips. I don't hate this, it's a nice size. It's just like a, it's not quite gunmetal. It's a little lighter than that. But there, I dropped the right one. So if I have a problem in the future, the right one is the one that I dropped. Let's put this on here. Two wires, so much better than MMCX also. The uh, Duna Zen Pros are MMCX. I forgot to mention that in the re-review. I feel like that's one of those things I should definitely go over is like what the actual connector is. So you can use a Chimera cable on this one. I hope these don't suck. Like, here's the thing, like, just because I have a collabed IAM doesn't mean I want all other IAMs to fail. I want to sell everybody the right IAM. That's the most important thing. I'll probably save that. I'll burn this. I'll freak out about the fucking wife on the fucking box, you fuck. Just, just screaming about it. Um, so let's, we're gonna go up in importance. That's an important item. This is an even more important item. Um, this is one of those expensive things that uh, a user sends me because the company doesn't. Oh, yeah. Actually, I may have locked out by opening it from the bottom. Come on. This is like heavy tape, man. Jesus. I've seen this. I played with this at a California's a SoCal Can Jam. Everyone jerked off about it or was like, you either jerked off about it or you're indifferent about it. Or you jerked off indifferently about it. I think maybe this, yeah, no, I don't think that's, that was not designed to come out from the bottom. But I did it anyway. Okay. We'll just reverse this for the ride home. I do like this foam material they picked out though. That's very, that's very nice. This would make a great cooler. Put that back in. Put these things back in. Let's look at the expanse. From Dan Clark Audio, AKA Mr. Speakers. I guess the only reason you change your name from, from Mr. Speakers to Dan Clark is because we're the speakers. Now, if you would have been Mr. Ear Speakers, that's different. This is a nice fucking thing. I think the, um, the Stealths also had a thing like this, but that's like, I love the show, The Expanse. So I would just rip this off and claim it's from the show. Um, rubberized box, with like a smooth satin rubberized box. So it was painted like crazy dark black paint. You got an Expanse bumper sticker. Although the blue, the dark blue on the black background not really working. You get an Expanse user guide. How to attach the cable, product care, the warranty for two years. Titanium memory metal headband, blah, 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 blah. One certificate of authenticity from Dan Clark Audio. Uh, September 9th, 2022. Yo, 86 is a serial number. Of course, they have to put it in like... It doesn't make sense to me to make it fold into this size. Like, I mean, it's cool that it can, but it's like, no one. Are you traveling with, the, fucking people are traveling with this shit. Does this come out? Okay, let's close this back up. I gotta go put this on the burn-in rig down the basement, which is one of the reasons I'm packing it tonight. Because this has to uh, get reviewed because this came from Audio 46, where there is like, I think it's Audio 46 that came from. I think there's a 30 day money back guarantee and the guy who bought this owns like nine headphones. He's like, if I don't like these, I wanna return them. So I'm getting to try them first. Then he's gonna to listen to them afterwards. That is smooth. I'll say this, they have improved this wire greatly over the years. Still think this has too many sharp edges on it. It has a little bit too big, but it's it's a nice cable. It's, this floops. This floops when others floop and flop. So let's just move all this shit over next to the thing with the waifu, son of a bitch. And Dan Clark Audio zipper. I guess it's gotta be like the part where you've made it when you have a zipper with your name on it. Okay, so now there's gonna be an extra piece of foam for shipping. 
which you wouldn't normally put on it, but I have to remember to put that on there when I'm shipping it back. Uh, how do they want me to undo this? One at a time, both at the same time. Cool. Put that in there. Don't forget about it. Ta-da! So this is the open back version of the Stealths, essentially. Oh, the 3D printed thing to protect the cups can come out. Only one pair of pads. That's a little cockeyed. It's a little cockeyed and was, it's stuck. Oh shit. Holy fuck, are you still unboxing? I'm not even halfway through with this unboxing. She's such a lame, what a lame. It's gotta be her Canadian heritage. She can't help but just. Baby, where were you born, baby? Wait, were you the first one born in the birthing chair? No, no, that was that was someone else. Never mind. Um, anyway, this has expanse. It's got the blue. It's blue blue stitching instead of red stitching. I know one thing for sure. Like I, I already have a bias on this because I know it matters a fuck. Oh my god, it's so dampening. It might as well be a close back. That's hilarious. Dan Clark is so good at making closed backs sound amazing. As soon as he has it open back, so much stuffing that it sounds like a closed back. Like I can barely hear myself speaking. But yeah, no, I had the bias that I know that this is so amp dependent because I heard people have heard it on some amps and like, I don't like that thing. And some people have heard it on like the, the Nautilus, like the $9,000 tube amp. And they're like, oh my God, it's the greatest thing ever since sliced bread. Sliced bread and fucking butt sex is the greatest thing ever. What? Are you laughing or yawning? Yeah. yeah, no, she doesn't laugh at my jokes anymore. So here is a giant. Oh, don't fuck up the box. I need this box. giant Ami, the biggest Ami Ami box I've ever gotten. And this shouldn't be one figure because I'm doing that thing where I buy three and then sell two to try to make up for the price of the one. So that even if I don't like completely cover the cost of the third one, at least I've saved some money so this hobby doesn't cost me as much. Because this is one of those things that is like barely able to be, be, to be a write-off. I basically have to claim this all stuff as a decorations for my office. Like, you can decorate your office. You know if you have, like, if you write things off. Holy big titty mamas. Um, you can, like, get artwork. I know my uncle got a stained glass window installed in his house. And he said, this is for my office. And he write that shit off. So we've got some big titty Halloween girls going on for Mami Ami. I got some more costume ideas for you, baby. And they look good. It's going to go in the basement. These go in the basement and they hang on a magnet on my heating and cooling units currently. So that goes there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like I bought the um the cowgirl Saki Mama for $114 plus shipping, and then I sold them both for $175 plus shipping. Or minus shipping. So in the in there I saved like 40, 50 bucks on the one I kept. That's acceptable. This, however, is gonna be... Hope the cats don't poop on this. Oh my God, I was wrong. I was wrong, baby. There's only one in here. How big is this? This is Revy from Black Lagoon. Oh Lord, I thought it was, I thought it was a three. This is a one. Why is it so big? What did I do wrong in life? How big is Bunny Girl Revy? This is absurd. Like this is an absurdly large box. I gotta take pictures of this as we go along. Just, I gotta back up and I gotta like take pictures of the entire fucking, I, I thought that was three. I thought, cause I put out a couple orders where it's three units. So I could do that thing. But this was like, this might've been too expensive. I mean, it certainly would have been too big. I have a thing for Black Lagoon. Like, it's not Revy in particular. 
honestly the hacker girl from that show. The nun was great, but like the nerdy girl was also like great. One quarter scale painted figure. How fucking big is this thing? Oh Lord. I don't want to actually look at the box. I want you to see the, the f just go right to the figure. I'm, I'm, I can't even tell pasta that I'm going to make the money up on this one. This one, this is it. This is just, I, I have a, I have a M60 machine gun and a, a quarter scale Revy bunny girl. Oh, she's just in there in like a weird position. I, this is, this is, how do I get this out of here? I hope you all stayed for this part. Yeah, they just got her in there in a really awkward position. Do I have to assemble things? Right. Looks like I have to install her hair, her cigarette, her gun, her bunny ears. Yeah, hair, bunny ears, cigarette, and gun. Damn, she's huge. Baby, she's huge. Try not to slice my knife across any parts of the actual Barbie doll. It's a bathtub for a cat. See, if they didn't design her like this, they could have probably fit her in like a normal thing. Like, like it could have been normal, but of course it's abnormal. There are the ears. Here's the hair. Where's the cigarette? Jesus, there's the cigarette. Oh, it's so small. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, it's so small. Okay, I'm putting this down on my phone screen. This is, this is some absurd bullshit now. I don't know how much I paid for this. Like, honestly, it had to be in the $300 range. I apologize, because I ordered it. All the figures that arrived, by the way, were ordered, here's her cutlass, were ordered months and months and months ago. Like, before I was like, oh, fuck, I gotta pay for propane and shit. It was just like, I just ordered things. I was like, this is fun, I want this. I enjoy this show, I wanna support it. It even says nine millimeter sword cutlass in readable font. Does it cock? Is it loaded? Pew. Okay. This is one of those figures that's when I do the when I do the New Year's Eve party. This is gonna be out for people to admire. This is one of those figures you fucking admire. I would love to get a Faye Valentine figure, but no one makes one. Someone's gonna link in the comments a fucking five hundred dollar Faye Valentine figure. I'm gonna be like you piece of shit. I actually supported. It wasn't a Kickstarter. It was like a pre-order for the entire box set of music from Cowboy Bebop. And if you paid like $500, it was the, the thing and a statue of the whole crew that was like huge with Faye, with, with Ed, with fucking Spike and Jet. And it was like, they were on the, the sword. Oh, it was fucking awesome. Never made it. They didn't get enough pre-orders to make that happen. Look how nice that hair is. Okay, we got, these are the parts. Excuse me, Revy. She's heavy as shit. Who would have thought that Revy is heavy? And apparently this one says bare skin version, which means there's gotta be another version of this out there. I'm actually gonna leave her leg wrapped so I can pick her up by it without putting my oils on it. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely Revy. That's a, that's a good representation with the tattoos. Mandy would like Revy because she likes tattooed girls. Mandy, tattoo girls, right? Mandy's all about those tattoo girls. So you can apparently take out the little temporary ears and put in the full fuck you bunny ears, which of course I'm going to do, because I'm not, a, not an ingrate. Which side is going? There we go. I think this is the correct side. Yeah, that's the correct side. Oh, fuck, I fucking dropped it. All right, time to read instructions again. Let's read instructions, where the hell are the instructions? Bunny, well, I mean, how the fuck am I supposed to tell? 
Okay, the wedge is out, it looks like. That's a barely fitting thing. I'd probably get some blue, some gray tack or blue tack and just pop that in there. Her hair now has to go, again, grab them by the back. So you have, they've got like these little fill things, but I guess if you don't want to put them there, or just to show you where they go, and these are usually keyed in a certain way, and there's actually a metal bit in this. So, I don't want to touch her face if I could avoid touching her face. There. Boom, boom. Put hand, put gun in hand. Sorry, this is a, such a long unboxing, but Pasta loves it when they're long. This is her favorite. Her finger actually holds the trigger. Bad trigger discipline on this figure, but then again, Revy's constantly shooting people in the fucking face, so. Especially Nazis. She hates Nazis. Dude, that went in like, like so smooth. And now the cigarette. <gasps> oh God. Oh, there it is. Holy fuck. I was about to have a shit fit on this goddamn fucking unboxing. Almost lost her cigarette. And her cigarette dumb be small. Move this receipt from Aldi. Leave the squash where it is. I think I could touch her like bust area. That probably wouldn't affect anything. All right, that's officially cool as fuck. So thank you all for stopping by for this unboxing. You can all enjoy your own Revy in a quarter fucking scale. Oh God. But yeah, you know what? Totes worth. Wait, is it like she's lining up with her eye? Is she lefty or righty? I, I don't know which eye she, was her dominant eye. But you know, everything else about this is um, fucking excellent. Now to go deal with the cardboard from it. Pass the wave, pass the door. Wave, there's a the wave. See, goodbye everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Cock.